This is Pete and welcome back to Great Lakes Makes. Today I'm going to show you how to design and make this 3D printed miter guide. I've got some trim work to do in the house and I don't really want to haul my miter saw from room to room and this small guide is the perfect solution. Starting in Fusion 360, create a new component and start a new sketch on one of the vertical planes. We'll start this part with using two rectangles and make a backwards L shape with the bottom leg centered on the origin. Add the dimensions. I made both my leg and the bottom 8mm thick and set the vertical distance between the leg and the origin at 20mm. That'll make a 40mm opening when we mirror the part and that's enough to cut a 1x2. And the leg is also 40mm tall. Stop the sketch and use the extrude tool, selecting both rectangles and pull the rectangles out to 50 millimeters. When we mirror this, it'll end up 100 millimeters long. Start a new sketch on the top of the leg and use the center rectangle tool to create a rectangle centered at the origin. Find the horizontal constraint and delete it. This will let you grab one of the corners of the rectangle and rotate it into position. Next I added dimensions to hold the rectangle at 45 degrees relative to the wall and set the width to 1 millimeter. Now I didn't have the rectangle fully constrained so it snapped to a really small size. I should have added another constraint to hold it in position but you can just drag the corners back to where you need it to be. Exit the sketch, and again use the extrude tool to pull the slot down 41 millimeters deep. Make sure you select both parts of the slot because we'll cut a little bit of a relief into the bottom panel for the saw blade. And now is a good time to come back and add some fillets so that when we mirror it, you'll have less edges to select. I used half a millimeter. Next, we'll mirror the part into a U-shape. Under the Create menu, find the Mirror tool, and make sure the pattern type is set to bodies and pick the solid. Use the vertical edge of the lower part of the L as the mirror plane and click OK. If you rotate the part, you'll see a line down the middle, meaning you have two solids. So under Modify, find the Combine tool and click both bodies and hit OK. The line is gone and you have a single solid body. Next, we'll add a hole to secure the guide to the table if needed. Pick the hole tool under the, the Create menu and click the bottom of the guide. Select the countersink type. And for my hole, I used 0.4 inches as the head diameter, 82 degrees for the taper angle, and 0.2 inches for the hole diameter. And this will fit a number 8 screw. Scroll up in the window and find the references section, and use the two edges of the guide to position the hole 15 millimeters from the outside edge, and 20 millimeters from one of the, the edges of the legs. This will center the hole in the guide. Coming back to the mirror tool, we'll repeat the process and mirror the body, selecting the plane at the origin as the mirror, and then come back and combine the parts into a single solid. The last feature that we need to add is a 90 degree cut slot, so we'll create another sketch on the top edge of the leg, and create a center rectangle at the origin. 90 degrees to the slot. Set the dimension to one millimeter. And if you didn't fully constrain the sketch, you'll have to drag those edges back into position. Exit the sketch and we'll repeat the extrusion at 41 millimeters to cut the slot all the way into the bottom panel by one millimeter to give a relief for the saw blade and then come back and use the fillet tool to round over those edges. I like to round over all the vertical edges on a 3D print because the extruder has a hard time creating a perfectly sharp corner and that round over makes it a better quality print and easier on the printer. Finally, I rounded over the edges of the legs by five millimeters to dress up the print. And then it was time to send it off to the printer. I printed these parts with a 1.6 millimeter shell and 50% infill to make for a strong and functional part.
right off the printer, I could put it to use. This miter guide is small and portable and makes for quick work of quarter round. When I'm moving room to room, it's not a lot of tools to carry around. Thanks for watching. This is Pete from Great Lakes Makes, and I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.